Thinking aloud. Conversations on the leading edge of knowledge and discovery with psychologist Jeffrey Mishlove. Well, within Christianity, I get the impression that because it became hardened, it became the, the state religion of the Roman Empire and a, a very, very powerful social force, the Pope uh, became superior to kings and emperors, uh, that there needed to develop a, a counterbalancing force. And these were various esoteric and mystical traditions within Christianity. They were. Mm -hmm. And what they were, not necessarily uh, even counterbalancing, but keeping kind of the essence of it alive. Mm -hmm. But to view it the way uh, you just suggested, there is a long-standing old tradition uh, of two churches. Mm. And I don't mean two denominations, but two churches. Mm -hmm. One is the Church of Peter, and Peter has always, in esoteric Christianity, symbolized the external religion. Mm -hmm. Peter is the one who is, the, the, shall we say, the rock, but he's also sort of dense, you know, is portrayed in the Gospels. Mm -hmm. Then there is what is sometimes even called the secret church of John. Mm. John is uh, associated with the esoteric Mm -hmm. uh, side, the deeper inner side. And uh, I believe in one of the Gospels, um, when Christ is risen, Peter gets there first and John comes after him. And esoterically, that means that, well, yeah, you do have to go through the stage of exoteric outer faith, mm -hmm. but then, you know, to get closer into it, yeah. uh, you need to have that Church of John. Now, I am not, by the way, saying that any sort of secret Church of John exists or does not exist. That's a completely different question. Mm. It's it's a question of different levels of understanding. But what you're talking about is the distinction between exoteric and esoteric. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how to put it as simply as possible? Well, there's a level at which you follow the rules and you do all of it kind of just because. Mm -hmm because I said so. Yeah. And then there's a, a level at which you do it because you see the inner reason for mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. It's not all that different from childhood uh, versus adulthood. The child, you do that because I say so. You know, uh, the kids, yeah, uh, usually, because the adult has superior force, but yeah, you do that because you say so. I say so. You know, the kid becomes mature, becomes an adult himself. He sees why he was told to do that. He understands. Mm -hmm. And that, in a sense, is the difference between the exoteric and the esoteric. Mm -hmm. Well, in, in Judaism, uh, I'm sure you know, because I know you've studied uh, Kabbalah, uh, they talk about the Torah of the tree of knowledge of good and evil as mm -hmm. opposed to the Torah of the tree of life. Mm-hmm. It's, it seems like a very similar distinction. It is.